welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey guys, well, we're going to have a little bit of excitement today, an adventure. Uh, we're going to post it as a house tour, but we also want to show what all it takes for us to go see a house. It ain't like getting in the car and driving down the road. So we're going to take a jitney first over to Levittown, Levittown where, where the SNR is. And then we're going to take a tricycle, we hope, or jitney to a house that we're looking at. And then we'll do a house tour and show you. Because this house is listed for 5,000 pesos, but it's a freestanding house. It's not a part of an apartment. So that's why I want to go see it. So we're going to get going. We're going to get on the road. And we'll give you a nice house tour when we get there. And we may show you a few things along the way where the SNR is and stuff like that. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Okay, we were pretty lucky today. We uh, got a first jitney real quick, went to SNR, and then we got a tricycle to take us to here. This is the subdivision we're going to be looking in. This house here called Royal Home Subdivision. The uh, area looks pretty nice. The roads are very clean and the roads are very new, so that's very, very nice for this area because normally the roads are very big, bumpy. And then this one has big sidewalks to walk down. Of course, it's always blocked. But this is the subdivision, so we're going to walk on in. Of course, there's banana trees everywhere. Actually, I find it funny. There's actually a Bible Baptist church. You don't see many Baptist church in the Philippines. <laughs> Very few. Uh, the subdivision is not quite as nice as I was hoping. But a lot of these grow up because the weeds grow so fast and they don't have nobody to cut the ones out here by the road. So we will talk to you in a minute when we get to the house. Banana blooms. Yeah, they're very big. Banana blooms are huge. There's lots of lots of bananas. Okay, we'll talk to you in a minute. We'll talk to you in a minute. We'll be looking for the landlord. He said you'll be waiting inside. See you later. Hi guys, finally we are here in this subdivision. So we came from that entrance. And we're going here. There is the neighborhood over here, as you can see. There is a basketball court over there. And this is the surroundings. There's a nasty house over there. <laughs> this is a nice kid house. And this is the house for rent. So, Papa Bear is inside trying to me measure the length of the room if our bed will fit in it so this is the entrance this is what you will call the living room so this is the living room and as you enter on the left side is the first bedroom first bedroom so when you enter the bedroom it's just tiny What's this size, Papa Bear? Seven by six. And after that is the second bedroom over here. It's bigger than this one. This one's not that big. This bed is a little bigger. No more. But the kitchen, the kitchen area has a decent size in the living room also. So. And as you enter, the left side is the bathroom. That's a breaker box we saw. Bathroom. And that's the kitchen. And on your right side, it will be your dining area over here. And that one is the exit going outside the kitchen where you can actually put the refrigerator over here and the microwave on the top. So. That's the kitchen area. Actually, it does have electricity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. It's got a big electrical box. That would be the washing machine. Living room. There's a decent size of the living room. And when you go out here, Papa Bear is there. Yeah. <laughs> when you go out, this one is safe. Actually, there's an outlet where you can put the washing machine outside. And also we're going out. So Actually, if they have a drain, you still need to wash the machine here inside, but there's no drain. I do probably will be outside. Yeah, so that's the there. whole house too, huh?
Hi, finally we're back home. Very hot day today. Got a nice che rosy cheeks today. <laughs> but it was nice to get out. Felt good. The sun felt good on my back. Um, I didn't get to see a lot of the videos she did inside the house, so I don't know what all she took. Um, what I was concentrated on was the measurements, because even if we didn't get that house, I want to have a feel for other sizes. Mm -hmm. um, that house there, all we could get in the bedroom was the bed. <laughs> and we don't have a queen yeah. or king size bed, yeah. we have a full size bed. The bedroom is very small. And the second one was even smaller. What's the measurement? Six by seven. Six by seven. And here we're ten by nine. Yeah, and, and, and this small. is small. You know, yeah. so one other thing, I really just I want to do some more videos. Anybody you know has something they want us to video for them in the Tanawa and Lipa, this area here, because yeah. it's enjoyable for us yeah. just to get out. Yeah. She's grabbing my hand. I can't <laughs> help it. It's enjoyable for us to get out. Um, so we went today. That house there leased for five thousand pesos a month, around a hundred dollars. I had two bedrooms, and like I said. The rooms, even though for me and her they seem very small, they're standard here. That's a very standard size Filipino house. Uh, the kitchen was actually bigger yeah. than most of the Filipino That's houses we said, have. Why you have a bigger kitchen? Because they didn't have a, a dirty small, kitchen. That was why they had and to a very small bedroom. Actually, it's a two bedroom, huh. but two small bedroom. And without the dirty kitchen they were smart to make the kitchen bigger because you had a place to put our table you still had a place for the so be a dining rear refrigerator so other than the bedrooms and they really didn't have a place for me to put my air conditioner yeah, um, there's no... the, all, the, the walls are solid on both sides the, actually the wall they have a, what they call a common wall with their neighbor on the left side so what the you one in the middle is hollow blast but there's a window right you know, so like we told them, the only way we could do it, they were to knock a hole in the wall like we did here. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, what I wanted you to see in this region here, people always wonder how we can find them. That one was 5000 We looked at another one. I just couldn't deal with the smell. Uh, it was a two-bedroom. It was 5000 And then we looked at one that was 7500 8000 8000 had three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. It's up and down. the second floor. Yeah, it was, and so... They they're here. You can find them. You just gotta be willing to adjust your American standards when you come here. You know, uh, I was telling her uh, we have people we watch in Valencia and Dumanguete and these other areas, and what they found out, you gotta be willing to spend four or five hundred dollars to have an American style apartment. Yeah. They're there. They're in the Dumanguete. They have them. a swimming pool. Right. They're beautiful. Yeah. In the four and five, which you could never dream of finding in America. Yeah. But uh, they're there. But here, they know they don't have many expats or foreigners here. So they don't really have much selection. You just got to take yeah, what's there. Especially the bathroom are all small. Yeah. There, there's really nothing here that's going to be westernized where we're comfortable in. You just have to adjust. That's why I explained to her, I'm not leaving this one till I find something that's similar. Because yeah. here... With the width we have here, I don't feel closed in. It, yeah. it feels this room is a lot bigger than, than probably that y'all can see on the camera. Um, there's no issue with us walking around and doing things. There's plenty of room. She can be ironing clothes there, and we can walk around <laughs> and all this stuff, and uh, all this stuff. So there's plenty of room. But um, I know a lot of y'all just always asking, hey, can you really find them? Well, that's three without even much trying. Actually, I found all three of those on Facebook on marketplace. It's a marketplace. You know, so there's plenty of them there. Um, just your standards. That's what you have to decide on. What do you mandatory must have? I checked the water pressure there and all that kind of stuff. They said there, there is no problem in water right. aside from there is a brown up. Right, and that's true anyway. And, and the fanciest area down in New Baghdad, I hear them complaining every day <laughs> on their YouTube blogs about brown the one, The one in Bohol, right. they have no water. Three days he's been without water. You know, no, so, the, the water can go up. Remember the one who's building the house? They have no water. Right. So we don't really have any of those issues here. I, I will tell you, when we live here, we've never really had a problem with water ever. Not one time. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, water, what you call this one? Water, water, pump. Is water pump is close. To yeah, well, you can hear them. There are two massive water pumps down the yeah. street here. So we'll keep looking around, and every time we go, we'll take videos and show you between the $100 to $200 range, what you can find. But if you have something you want us to see or you have something you'd like to show us, please put a comment down below and let us know that you have something you'd like for us to come see. And let us know if you'll 
they'll let us videotape it and we'll put it on live. Even if we don't take it, other people will be able to see yeah. it. We have at least an idea the location and the look of the house. Okay, well, I'm going to test her one more time. I'm going to let her wind this up. Okay, thank you for watching this video and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, put comment below, subscribe, and watch the full video. Okay. Good and ring the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, everybody have a nice weekend. I guess today's not weekend, huh? Have a nice evening. Yeah, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.